Cruise missiles are designed to deliver a large warhead over long distances with high precision. Cruise missiles of today are even capable of traveling at supersonic or high subsonic speeds and are self-navigating and are able to fly on a non-ballistic, extremely low altitude trajectory. Out of all the cruise missiles in the world today, we've picked the 10 best of them all and this list is based mainly on the quality, performance, guidance systems, types of warhead and many more. So stay tuned guys and do not miss this. At number 10 is the RGM-84 Harpoon Block II. This is a ship-launched all-weather, over-the-horizon anti-ship missile. Its low-level sea-skimming cruise trajectory, active radar guidance and warhead design assures high survivability and effectiveness. To strike targets on land and ships stationed in port, the missile employs GPS-aided inertial navigation. The 500-pound penetration high-explosive blast warhead provides the missile with enough firepower to destroy coastal defense and surface-to-air missile sites, aircraft, port or industrial installations, and docked ships. Up next at number 9 is the RBS-15 Mk3. It is a long-range fire-and-forget surface-to-surface and air-to-surface -surface anti ship missile which has the ability to attack land targets as well. The RBS-15 guidance and control systems include an inertial navigation system and a GPS receiver, a radar altimeter and a KU-band radar target seeker. The missile can be equipped with an optimized heavy high-explosive blast fragmentation warhead and is resistant of enemy countermeasures. The speed and range of this missiles are over Mach 0.9 and 250 km. Standoff Missile is Turkey's first indigenous long-range autonomous high-precision air-to-surface cruise missiles which stands at number 8. SOM is equipped with an imaging infrared seeker and an inertial measurement unit for high-precision guidance. The missile is highly effective against moving land and surface targets, high-value stationary targets, strategic assets, shelters, exposed aircraft, aircraft hangars and command and control centers, as well as sea surface threats. The SOM's maximum speed is Mach 0.94 and has a range of 180 km. It is operable under all weather conditions and also in hostile environments. At number 7 is the Naval Strike Missile, which is an anti-ship and land attack missile developed by the Norwegian company Konsberg Defense and Aerospace. The missile is made up of composite materials meant to give the missile sophisticated stealth capabilities. The stealth design of the NSM allows the anti-ship missile to penetrate into shipboard defenses. The missile using GPS-aided mid-course guidance with a dual-band imaging infrared seeker detects and discriminates the targets. The missile will weigh slightly more than 400 kilograms and have a speed of Mach 0.7 to 0.9 and a range of more than 185 kilometers. Up next at number 6, we have the AGM 86B ALCM, which is an American subsonic air launch cruise missile built by Boeing and operated by the United States Air Force. This missile was developed to increase the effectiveness and survivability of the Boeing B-52H Stratofortress strategic bomber. It is guided with Litton inertial navigation system element with TURCOM updates. During flight, this system compares surface characteristics with maps of the planned flight routes stored in onboard computers to determine the missile's location. As the missile nears its target, comparisons become more specific, guiding the missile to target with pinpoint accuracy. The AGM 86B ALCM traditionally carries a 200 kiloton W81 nuclear warhead for a distance of approximately 2,500 kilometers. It is 6.32 meters in length and 1,458 kilograms in weight. Up next at number 5 is the Storm Shadow. This is a long-range air-launch standoff attack missile designed and developed by France-based MBDA Systems. The missile is equipped with fire-and-forget technology and is intended to strike high-value stationary assets such as air bases, radar installations, communication hubs and port facilities. The navigation system of the missile includes inertial navigation, GPS and terrain reference navigation for better control over the path and accurate target strike. 
The Storm Shadow is capable of engaging the targets precisely in any weather conditions during day and night and is able to penetrate deep into hard rock targets. Up next at number 4 is the Tomahawk Block 4. This is a long-range all-weather jet-powered cruise missile that is primarily used by the United States Navy and Royal Navy in ship and submarine-based land attack operations. The Tomahawk Block 4 uses GPS navigation and a satellite data link to continue through a preset course. The guidance system is assisted by terrain counter-matching. The missile can be armed with a nuclear or unitary warhead or a conventional submunitions dispenser with combined effect bomblets. It can strike high-value or heavily defended land targets. At number 3 is the P-800 Onyx. This is a Russian supersonic anti-ship cruise missile developed by NPO Mashinostroyenia as a ramjet version of P-80 Zuber. It is guided with mid-course inertial guidance, active radar homing, passive radar seeker head. The P-800 has two different ways it can approach its target. It can fly just above the sea the whole way, which decreases its range to 120 km but reduces its radar visibility, or it can start out flying high and dive towards the target. This method gives the P-800 a maximum range of 300 km. Some sources also state that the P-800 has a range of 600 km. Its maximum speed is Mach 2.5, which may travel too fast for close-in weapon systems. At number 2 is the 3M54 Kaliber. This is a group of Russian surface ship, submarine launch and airborne anti-ship and coastal anti-ship land attack cruise missiles and anti-submarine missiles developed by the Novator Design Bureau. It is guided with inertial guidance plus terminal active radar homing and TURCOM DSMAC. This missile is a modular system with five versions. Two anti-shipping types, one for land attack and two anti-submarine types. The 3M54 caliber missiles are capable of performing very high-angle defensive high-speed maneuvers in contrast to the common linear flight path of other anti-ship cruise missiles. At number one spot is none other than the Brahmos. BrahMos is a supersonic cruise missile being developed by a joint venture between India and Russia. It is guided with active radar homing GPS, global orbiting navigational satellite system and GPS-aided GEO augmented navigation satellite guidance. The ship and land-based BrahMos missiles can carry a conventional semi-armor piercing warhead of 200 kg while the aerial variant can carry a 300 kg warhead. These missiles can intercept surface targets as low as 10 meters in altitude. Brahmos can reach a maximum speed of Mach 3, which is the world's fastest anti-ship cruise missile in operation. The hypersonic version of the Brahmos missile is under development and it can travel at a speed of Mach 5 to Mach 7 and it will be the fastest hypersonic missile in the world when fully developed. And that's it guys for today, we hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can become a part of our Buzz family. Thank you guys for viewing and bye bye!